Welcome fellow travelers, this is your traveling buddy here coming to you from Portland, Michigan. And today I'm here with Michigan and Rob and we're trying to find the headstone where Chief Okamus is buried. And somewhere out in these woods is the burial site of Chief Okamus, who Okamus, Michigan is named after. So travel with me, will you? Okay, we're here on Okamus Road here in Portland. It's actually named Okamus, and we believe this might be the trail. It gets us off in the woods where he's buried at. This kind of looks like a trail here. Let's see if we can't find it. Oh, yep, there is a trail. Definitely a trail. There's a couple trails right here. Just incredible that they brought him all the way out here to bury him way out in the woods. Which, well, back, yeah. Probably back what, whenever he passed away, there was no houses or nothing existed. It was just like this, just open. Right. He probably still lived in like one of those little huts or whatever. He, Now, yeah, he told me he was coming out and do this. He's, I was very interested in because uh, Okamus was a Chippewa Indian, and I am part Chippewa Indian myself. Who knows? Somewhere down the road, I could be related to him. Definitely way back in the woods. Yeah, it's it definitely back in the woods. <laughs> yeah, we way back here. Hopefully, don't run into Michigan Bigfoot. <laughs> you guys find these cameras, you know what happened to us. <laughs> Wow, that's 
definitely a trail. Woo, watch your step there. <laughs> There's another trail that goes this way. There's another trail that goes this way. Didn't he say... Okay, didn't he say he's up? Okay, let's do this way. Yeah. He did say he was a trail that was in the... We asked the uh, local that lives here actually where the great site is. Uh, Okay, here goes it. Yeah, there's another one goes this way. That way. There's a trail there. Trail here. Oh. We'll go, let's go this way because let's, let's go this way. I've got a feeling that it's gotta be straight away this way. Oh there's a there's a there's the river right here. Yep. See it? There's a river right there. I don't know if that's the Grand or is that a pond? Yeah, that's the Grand. That's the Grand. Wow. Yeah. Gotta be here somewhere. Yeah, see there's the Grand River right there. This is crazy. Oh, look at this, it almost looks like a fire pit. Doesn't that look like a fire pit? That looks just like a fire pit, yeah. Comes the mosquitoes. <laughs> I wonder how far it is in the woods. Sad. Be careful he here. He said it is a little ways. And we're right near the river. The rock is. I think like that's it. Oh, watch it. There's a big, decent size. There's a hair. Yeah, yeah, I see something over there. I don't know if that. He said, ah, oh, watch it's up there. This is an adventure. Fuck, like, I don't know if there's a home site over there. Look at that, right, right there, see? Opening down there. That's steep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you can tell my picture that it's got to be... If that person knows where it is, it's, we got to be heading in the right way. Unless he's drawing us out here to take us out. <laughs> Oh, there's like a pond or a lake right here. Oh, look at this big rock here. Ooh, watch your step here. This is steep. Now there's like a there's like a lake or a pond right here. Over this way. I don't know. Maybe it might be 
said it's a little walk into the woods. Yeah, no, that's like a pond right there. Yeah, they didn't give you too many details when you looked at the picture and stuff because I was looking, trying to look for landmarks or something that was familiar, but I couldn't. Alright, looks like it's, from the picture. it's probably one of these, you know, you know, people have found out about it, but I probably wanted to be buried out here so people leave them alone. But of course, that doesn't happen too much. People will find you. Right. Researchers and people like us. <laughs> At least we're being respectful though. I mean, there aren't going to be vandals coming out here. Paying our respects to the great Indian chief. Well, we just ended up at the end of this trail here. I think we're gonna turn around. See if we can do the other trail. This is why I got into this stuff. It's get me out of the house. I got tired of just being a couch potato. Good exercise. Right, exactly. That's yeah. That was my first thing about doing this stuff is I was trying to get some exercise, lose some weight. And Yeah, we No, we didn't. This way. This way. This way. Cause there's that there's that pond. There's that pond. Yeah. That's awful steep right there. <laughs> yeah, we didn't go down there. Is that if we find a grizzly bear? Oh <laughs> <see that. laughs> well, not a grizzly, but a black bear. I actually seen a black bear once up north. Yep, right up that, that that's that's how that was a real steep area. Yeah, I was up north one time. I was going down the bike trail and saw some deer. And as I got closer, the deer ran off. And as I, as I was riding by, there was a black bear perched up on a tree. Looked like he was watching them deer. Why I got up and moved. <laughs> kind of area I like. I always say, tell people all the time, I want to get out of the city. Lived in the city all my life. I'm, I want to move out into the country. Here it is, folks. Here he is. Chief Okamos. Chief Okamos. Wow. Wow, look at all the stuff they put down here. You can see it's right in the wood. Nobody would know. There he is. This was here. See? Grave of Okamos. Noted Chippewa Chief, 1858. Placed by the St. Mason Chapter DAR 1921. And you see where people have come out here, put their tributes. There's a some kind of skull, I'm not sure what that is. Skull that is. Some shells. What does it say on that block? Okay. 
something town town Townsend block. block. Look at the shotgun shells. Oh, there's a little figure of an Indian right there. Yep. I wish I would have. Actually, I do have a little tribute I can do. Oh, look at that. It looks like an old Zippo. Right here. See, yeah, right there, Zippo. An old Zippo. Piece of a Zippo. Now, if you look, guys. This is not like there's a little ribbon here though you can find oh come out here and find it. I seen just noticed that as we walked up there's a ribbon. A ribbon. There. If you're not familiar with this area you would not find his grave site because this is like deep in the woods where we're at. So beautiful, beautiful place where they put him. I mean it's not desecrated or graffiti on or anything wow. it's a beautiful tribute it is very beautiful all the seashells i don't know what the golf ball is all about did he play golf <laughs> i think he had golf way back <laughs> i'm gonna leave a little and the shotgun shells tribute to him here little bird feathers looks like yes so i'm not sure what these skulls are they're Wolves or oh, it looks like they carved into the skulls too. We look at oh really? If you look at it, it looks like somebody kind of carved into them. See what I'm saying? There's like oh, a little yeah. carvings on the on the skull of that. I'm not sure what kind of animal that is. All right, there's an arrow. Yeah, we don't want to. If anybody comes and finds the grave site, I'm not going to say exactly where it's at because that would be up to you guys to uh, find it yourselves. But we set, kind of told you the area and stuff, but if anybody comes and visit his grave site, whatever you do, don't desecrate his grave. Just don't touch it, don't mess with it, just pay homage. Oh, there's a little red, white, and blue like banner thing or something right there. Yep. Beautiful. I'm gonna leave a little. Looks like arrowheads. There's some arrowheads in there, or, or not actually pieces of arrows, not arrowheads. Oh, look at it right here. Here's some more little toys of the horse. I don't know if you can see it right here. See him? Oh yeah. There's a little horse. A little horse and arrowheads and golf ball and. I wish I could have went live here, but this is the next best thing, but I'm going to leave a little token. Are you, are you? That's an idea. Actually, you know what? I think I even have. If I'm thinking right. Stop that. To him and stuff in that there we go. This is what my tribute's going to be. This penny. It's like a newer penny, but it's got the American shield on it symbol that's for you welcomes said I'd like to know if you're part of my family rest in peace
Oh, check this out. I just looked up in this tree. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That is awesome. Look at that. Wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Yeah, I just happened to look up in this tree and see this. Two pine cones. Oh, it's a turtle shell. That's a turtle shell. Painted on it. Looks like an eagle feather. Maybe or, or a hawk. Wow. You can see where they had ceremonies on here. We just found this piece of wood out here. It's charred. And there's like right over this way. I don't know how we didn't miss it. There's like a little fire you know, fire pit over that way. Yep. Right down this trail right here. Right down that trail. There's a fire pit. And we passed it a while back. And we never realized it was right here. You are not forgotten about Chief Okamus. So I'm going to have to, there's actually a historical marker in Nokomis where their camp used to be. I might, I'm going to have to get out there and do a vlog about that. Because I looked that up once and there's actually a little memorial, oh, I mean a historical plaque right in Nokomis. Well, travelers, that's about it for me today. I want to thank Rob from Michigan Air Rob for bringing me out here to this. Uh, this is awesome. Uh, I was glad to find this little thing. This is the kind of stuff I like. Get out in the woods and all that. So, if you like what I do, is hit that like, uh, hit that subscribe, and share share my thing. Again, leave me a comment. I, I like any comments. So until next time, travelers, I'll see you around the mitten.